So I'm a pharmacist, I'm interested in, in prescribing and medicines and when people use multiple medicines it's called polypharmacy and if we were wanting to access prescribing information I would have to have an agreement with every single GP um, in the region, um, all of the hospital trusts individually so I think really that's just not practical so that would mean if I was interested in doing that kind of study um, it would just take too long to actually do it properly. I think trying to access data can can literally take can take years. Actually, you could you could spend the majority of a of a study just trying to navigate the governance processes, and that can be really frustrating from a research perspective. But it can also be expensive as well. The secure data environment is a, an electronic place where routine health and care data. Uh, exist. For the purpose here, it's been able to use that information to generate evidence on what constitutes best care or how we might make health and care services more efficient or effective or helpful for people. Next has been an organisation we've been processing health data for kind of over 10 years so we've got a lot of experience in that. We've got a partnership with NHS England so we can process data on their behalf. They kind of instruct us to do that to, to look after that. They take data security and compliance and with standards really seriously. The staff have to go on, under additional training to access that data uh, and there's also some sort of security checks as well that NHS are going to ask, ask them to do so that, that, that's really at the heart of what we do and it's really important to the staff that we do that. As one of the first users of the secure data environment um, in our region we anticipated there'd be challenges um, in terms of what data we wanted and whether we would be able to get that data um, but we did have a team in place at the SD that worked with us but now that we've got the data we're really excited there's a lot of information there um, that we can possibly start to analyse and actually draw out some analysis in order to answer the questions that we had. I think one of the opportunities in a secure data environment is to be able to link data from different sources and particularly different places in the health and care system. Often people who are unwell, they'll go first to a general practitioner and they may get referred to a hospital, they may be referred somewhere else for some form of specialist care and different notes get taken as people move around health and care systems. Um, that's quite difficult to follow people through these health and care systems, yet we're trying to make their patient journey simpler. So I think there's an opportunity for us by having the data in a secure data environment to be able to link the data that's collected in different systems and to be able to follow people's patient journeys so we can understand their experiences of care and try to make that more straightforward and more um, easy to navigate. I work in an environment where we have a lot of people that die from preventable illness and actually we would love to try and think how we can use the information we hold about our patients to try and prevent some of that illness better. Recently we've been involved with quite a lot of different research trials to try and look at preventing heart disease but all of them use different platforms, different passwords, different ways that we as professionals have to access them and really when we're quite busy professionals it's really hard for us to engage in those research. We want to help, we want to learn but we've only got a limited time we hope that the new world, the secure data environment, will enable us to have one platform, one set of passwords, one ways of working that we can trust our experts to help us make sense of the information we have, that our patients will be able to benefit because we'll be able to make sense of how we can prevent and uh, treat illnesses much easier. So I think the secure data environment is a very exciting um, time for, for academia in general. Um, it's, it's going to give us a platform where we can analyse large data, we can have access to large data sets, save a lot of time for research, um, a lot of the background paperwork that always has to be done before we can even access any data and it's really going to help speed up that process um, in order to, to allow us to do the analysis and produce the outcomes that we want. We kind of saw with COVID, research happened really quickly and that really helped with the with the, the, the delivery of the COVID vaccine. At the moment, we've kind of got to go to individual data controllers. That takes quite a lot of time and quite a lot of effort um, to do when actually, we, if we could could get agreement from, from organisations to share their data once for this purpose, it removes duplication, it should make things a lot simpler. So I think with the SDE, um, what we could do is we can go through that, that central process that, that they will have an agreement with all different providers or different people that access, that have the data, that hold the data. So I could go through one process to access that data to help me um, ultimately do research to improve the care of patients. 
there's certain studies that are just not possible to do, not because we don't have the skills to do them, it's just because we just don't have the data. So again, through through the SDE, hopefully that will that will prevent that so we can design some, some really nice, um, exciting studies. Everyone in the health and care service is really busy and that puts off a lot of people being involved with research. I really hope that this provides one way that we as the professions can trust that the data about our patients is held securely. It provides one way that we can all engage in the uh, research community. So I'm optimistic that in five years time that we can have all of our healthcare professionals trusting our secure data environment and enabling them to operate with us to be able to look at what things can be done better for our public. <laughs>